I'm Christian, I'm juror number seven, and this is my Ponderosa. So the phrase social game is such a ubiquitous phrase when describing the game, and I never thought that that was a good descriptor. You know, from the beginning of this game, you know, I had announced myself as a big threat. Potentially a questionable strategic move, but really I knew that I had to embrace who I was at the very beginning on the hopes that at some point they would just kind of get used to it and forget. Hello, Joe. Dr. Christian. Dr. Christian. Go, Dr. Joe. Then. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing okay at the moment. I knew out of the gate I'm the guy in a robot shirt who, who can't help but use words that people don't usually use. The challenges were less murderous than I thought. Even that one, that six hour one. Like, How was that? Tell us about that. Oh God, the six hour challenge. It, I don't know what the heck washed over me. Do you remember all of it? Oh, I, oh absolutely. Dude, I got to talk to Jeff for six hours. Imagine that, yeah. That was, who gets to do that? People would pay a lot of money to do that. I, I totally anticipate ups and downs. I mean, I was I was, thinking, I was trying to find ways to keep motivating myself, motivating myself to keep going. Not that I ever felt like quitting or really taking my foot off the gas in terms of really trying to play the game. But like in those moments where you're so wet and tired, you're like, okay, what can keep me going? You remember your, your weight when you started the game? It was 153.8. What are you gonna go for now? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna estimate, I'm gonna be a little ambitious. I'm gonna estimate 140. Step on now yeah. and let us know what it says. Oh, 138.4. Okay. Wow. So, just over 15 pounds. 15 pounds, not, not too bad. I get to greet some people, get to drink with someone. I get to drink with Gabby. That's gonna be fun. So I, I look forward to talking with them outside the setting of a crazy mixed up game. So people, you know, who think that I go back to a hotel every night, you know, you, you guys can uh, reevaluate your assumptions about this show. All right, getting off the boat. I should have tied, tied my shoes on this long journey. That would have been a smart thing to do. So I get off the boat and the first thing I hear is Gabby's voice. It's like, Christian! And she runs up and she gives me a hug. I'm so cool. Oh, I know, I know. Oh my God. Wait, I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm so, I'm, you're sad. Elizabeth, come here, buddy. Thank you so much for welcoming me. Hey, it's awesome to see you guys. Hi, right, man, Alec. I, I knew in my heart that they would be, that they would welcome me. But you're never quite sure because the jury, when we see them in the show, they're like scowling. It's been cool to see you go all the way though. Oh, 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 oh awesome! That's, thank up, you so bro much, yeah. bro Chacho. It's good yeah. to see you. Oh my god! And I know what you're oh, thinking, god. bro. And right inside, there's a bunch of weights. Oh, <laughs> there's a bunch of weights. Oh my god! All right, okay. 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 Gabby, you know, kind of pulls me over the mirror. She 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 does the blindfold thing with her hands and pulls me over, and I and I get to see myself. You know, I've, I've seen glimpses of reflections from here or there. You know, a knife a knife handle here on the island, which is really hard to understand. That you don't know what you look like. Basically, what Emily saw okay. just a few days ago. Okay. Oh dear Christ. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Yeah. This is like me trying to puff it out. What'd you order? Okay, so this is this is surf and turf. Okay. Oh, there's the. So this is. Surf beef burger. All right. And the salad. Thank you. You ordered a salad? Yes. Yeah. And the pizza. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. Yeah. This might be the record, actually. I sit down at the food table, and all five of those dishes are there. I have a job to do. You know, Jeff says you have to dig deep in this game. I'm going to dig deep out of this game, too. Amazing. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> we love you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, some fan. Welcome. Welcome home. Well, thank you, whoever put this there. So weird. <laughs> uh, my, 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 I, I think literally, if I did this, I will have my dad's face. 
I'm getting out of these clothes. So what I'm going to do, I think, yeah. is number one. But the shower right there, and the, I don't want to make them wait while I'm getting a shower. I'll just stink for a little bit. It's okay. I've stunk for 35 days. So, uh, so today, you know, we have all this wonderful downtime at Ponderosa, and and now that we have food in our bellies and we can think about what what happened, you know, say ponder at all, you know, I figured why not get everyone together and sort of bat around ideas. Um, in an open academic setting in Fiji. I, I want to have stimulate like a really engaging discussion about what Survivor is all about. This is the science of Survivor. Here's a neat problem. Survivor is a really hard game. And we all go into it sort of like with our own, you know, reasons as to what you think would work. You know, do you build this tight alliance that won't break and take people out to the end? Or what I was trying to do is just make it so crazy that hopefully eventually people wouldn't target me. Look, you know, look where it got me. For me, I want to learn something about Survivor that I didn't know before. So we have, you know, and this can and this can be new strategies. And I sort of see that as something a single player can do. What would Carl do? What's a struggle strategy for Carl, you know, for himself to maximize his chance of winning the game? Also, you know, for Jeff, this is for Jeff too, because if he puts a new twist in the game, if I know, if, if you know something about how it's going to work, like you're, we're talking about this, Carl. Your your idol nullifier. Is that good for the game? Bad for the game? It was, it's great that you found it, because you're able to turn around on the Goliaths. So there's variance in how well it performs, right? But if the same thing happened every season on Survivor, how interesting is that? I would not watch it. You would not watch it. Maybe so, three seasons. So maybe maybe a few seasons. But the thing, the thing about Survivor is such high variance in how things go every time, that makes it more interesting. Oh. So, yeah. so, so when we're talking yeah. about things about yeah. idols, nullifiers, oh. it adds a lot of variance to the game. Variance, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. It's new to the game. So, so if it's good for adding variance, because you could have played it great, or you could have played it really terribly, right? And so that, that's a good thing to know. All right. Normally you have a whole wall of whiteboards, but you know, this is Survivor. You make things work. You dig deep to find space where you didn't think it was possible before. <laughs> that's what makes us survivors. Okay?